Alright guys, before it gets too dark, before this gets any worse, this little bit of a wardrobe malfunction, let's go see who's ready to help Santa. What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness. Santa is back. Now, what we are doing, I'm going to tell you our secret plans. As long as you don't tell anyone, well I guess you can't. Uh, by the end of the video because it's already done. Now, what we're doing is I'm going to Kmart now to pick up a few more goodies uh, to pretty much put into like a gift pack. And what I'm gonna do dressed as Santa, because I am Santa, uh, we're going to have a breakdown. And let's see who helps us out. Now, those lucky people who get to help us out, they're gonna get some gifts from Santa. So, whoever is willing to help Santa out gets rewarded in this merry season. All right, I'll uh, take you for a quick rundown on what we're gonna get and going to Kmart now. Let's boogie. Okay, so, funnily enough, doing this video, as I'm driving towards Kmart, I see this guy drop all his stuff on the road. And look, the whole point of this, uh, this video is to actually see while we're in such a busy period where everyone's just going crazy right before Christmas, whether or not they're willing to help, help others. Um, it's a hectic time and like it's supposed to be a time of giving, but it just seems that it's just an absolute mess and chaos now. So the point of this video is just to see if uh, there is people out there that can control themselves and actually keep giving uh, with the simple gesture of even just helping someone with their car. Now funnily enough, as I finished the recording just before, yeah, some guy dropped his stuff and I got out to help him. He was not in a good mood at all. And that just went to prove my point that everyone is completely stressed out. It was his uh, clothes and stuff, so I don't know what's going on there. And just making my way to the car park now, it is absolutely chaos as well. So let's jump in and Kmart get those prezzies. Alrighty, plan is to make it nice and easy. Just gonna chuck some gifts into a bag. Probably get about maybe five or six gifts. Uh, so the bags need to be big enough to fit in a bottle and a few other goodies. Maybe some chocolates so they can you know, spike their insulin or something. Then they have to come into Hammer Fitness. Gotta love Kmart. Trying to get them into the gym by giving them sugar. Perfect. Done. Got our bags, got our candy canes of lollies. Now just gotta wrap all the gifts up to be able to give to the people once they come in and rescue Santa. Alrighty, Santa sack, check. Candy cane lolly bags, check. Gingerbread house, check. Business card, of course, with sticker magnet and water bottle, check. So I'm gonna chuck these in the bags, we're gonna get sorted, then we're gonna go see who wants to rescue Santa. This Santa's sack is huge. Alrighty guys, first version is going to be just pulling over on the side of the road and making it look like I'm a bit of in distress. See who's gonna help me out or help Santa out. Anything, a car or a phone or a jump lead? 
pretty funny. She actually got out in such admiration to actually try help. She was like, whatever it takes, a call, jump leads. She was so, so nice. And as soon as I said, look, my car is actually fine, her face was just like, what the hell are you doing? And then we gave her a prezi just for saying thank you and she was very, very grateful. So that was a good first one. Quality. Okay, so second version. We're just gonna go to a uh, car park. Hopefully there is some cars. Maybe we can try find someone to, let's say, jump start us. So, we just have to wait for someone to come out of the shops to help Santa. Alright, so we saw a guy coming out of the gym, but anyway, look, I saw him going to his car, so I approached him, asked him if he had jump leads or if he could even just help, and he actually said no and wound up his window. So no Christmas present for him. Okay, so we asked for jump leads, and as soon as I asked for that, it was kind of like an instant... Uh, fail if they don't actually have jump leads. She was more than willing to help me out but unfortunately she didn't have jump leads and look she even asked me questions how far do I live. She's actually going out of her way to make an effort to actually try and help me. So that's when I sprung it on her and actually said look there's nothing wrong with my car. I want to say thank you for being such a nice person on Christmas and give you a present and she was really really grateful. Funnily enough her car almost broke down. <laughs> Uh, we would have almost had to have helped her, but all good. Success number two. Looks like I said Merry Christmas. <laughs> Santa needs to get places. Have jump leads or anything? Uh, Pulled over, stop my car now, won't start. Hey? What? Oh, look, you guys actually pulled over and you wanted to help me out. Look, we're doing a promotional video just to see who's actually willing to help me out. Dead on the side of the road, huh? <laughs> look, just for doing that, I want to give you guys some presents. So just waiting for a Thanks Jeez. guys, you're the bomb. No worries. Well, I was going to get you a bit of six mil out the back. <laughs> you, <laughs> <out>, but... <laughs> you guys have a Merry Christmas. Good right? too, mate. Thank you. That was uh, pretty funny. They pulled over and they actually did two U-turns to get back to us. So that in itself was an effort. And then as soon as they, there was three of them in the car, which is quite funny. They're all wearing uh, the outfits as well. So, uh, Santa hats and everything so it was good but first thing they said was what's with the camera and I just got these chills down my body I'm like damn it we've been busted but instantly I just said look guys we're doing a promotional video I explained the rest of the story gave them their presents and they thought it was freaking awesome so another appreciative uh, group of people let's get on to the next one and what better way to spend Christmas Eve than to check out the Christmas lights Alright guys, next one, we're actually in Knox City, nice and busy, well not really actually, it's uh, Christmas Eve. Hopefully there is some people in Ozone because what's going to happen is we're going to 
stall the car and not be able to get it going again so whether or not it's I don't know an excuse for jump leads or a push whatever it is whoever's willing to help they're getting a Prezi for Christmas Alrighty, that one was quite funny. Started pushing the car and I glimpsed eyes with this guy and he's like, oh my God. And I said, mate, can you please help me out? And he starts already saying stuff like, mate, I've had a big week. I'm like, all I'm asking for is a little push. He's like, look, I'll give you a little push, but I'm toasted, mate. I'm like, look, we'll stop right there as we're pushing along. And I just said, look, my car's fine. I just wanted to see and ranted on about what we're doing and he was just in awe like what the hell is going on but very very appreciative once I gave him his gift still quite funny but very very appreciative gave him a Merry Christmas and that was freaking awesome we're gonna have to call it a night now it is Christmas Eve uh, and everyone was not only in a rush it seemed like but the people that actually did pull over, they were willing to help. Um, you could even see in the last guy's face for tonight, uh, he's just, he had had a big week, uh, but I had to give it to him. Like, he's even starting to complain about his uh, joints or he was aching. And I'm like, look, mate, just stop pushing the car there. And he was just like, what? I'm like, look, we're actually uh, sussing out who's actually nice enough uh, to stop and help not only anyone, but a big bad Santa dressed up in a costume. Check out this house. Woo! Get into the spirit! Ooh, another one. That was a lot of fun, especially just that turning point in the realization of people from they were in a position of, I want to help you too. What the hell is going on? Done.